So, I'm sorry I left you guys hanging last week. My girlfriend and I actually took a spontaneous trip to Mexico and we didn't get back until last Friday. There was actually a huge earthquake that happened. Thankfully, our resort was about an hour away, so we weren't actually affected, but sadly, over 200 people were killed in the aftermath. We didn't have any Wi-Fi on our resort or any means of communication, really. So while I regret not having Wi-Fi to inform my friends and family back home that we were okay, being without social media or technology of any kind has been the most revitalizing thing ever. I had the opportunity to read 4 Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. Side note, if you're looking to become an entrepreneur or you work a 9 to 5 and you're just looking to gain a little bit more freedom in your life, this book is highly recommended. Anyway, there's a section in the book that talks about the Pareto Principle or more commonly known as the 80-20 Principle and what that suggests is that 80% of the output in your life is produced by 20% of the input. So let's use clothing as an example. 20% of your wardrobe is worn 80% of the time. It's definitely the case with my girlfriend. She's got like a crap ton of shoes, but in all the time that we've been dating, she's maybe worn like eight. Now the 80-20 principle can be applied to any area of your life and the whole purpose is to cut away the unessentials and direct more of your focus into the things that truly matter. Tim Ferriss poses a very interesting question in relation to this principle. What are the 20% of people or things in your life that are contributing to 80% of your unhappiness? And after doing an inventory of my life, I realized that there are quite a few things contributing to my unhappiness. But one of them in particular was social media and I feel like there's a lot of pressure that I put on myself because I'm trying to build up my business and become more well known as a health coach if I don't post anything in relation to my brand or anything at all really I feel like I don't exist not to mention that social media reinforces the bad habit of comparing yourself to other people which is the quickest way to make yourself feel small and insignificant and to be honest 80% of what you see online is either all fake or extremely over exaggerated there are couples out there who post lovey dovey pictures of themselves online saying oh I our relationship is perfect. Uh, didn't your girlfriend try to cut you with the beer bottle last week? Just saying. And I don't want to just blame social media. It's also the, these gossip columns and you know reality TV and news. We subject ourselves to all this fake crap and negativity and then we call it entertainment. Which brings me to the homework assignment of the week. Something I'd like to call one, because it sounds hilarious, and two, it's an acronym that stands for the Antisocial Low Information Diet, where you'll pretty much refrain from exposing yourself to any of the things we just talked about. Now, I do challenge you guys to do this for three days. However, if this is too much of a stretch for you, then at least do it for one full day. There'll be no Facebook, no Twitter, no Instagram, no YouTube, nothing. In addition to that, there'll be no TV of any kind. That includes Netflix and chill, although you can still chill. Maybe you could read and chill, right? You can try that. So, it's time to unplug yourself from the matrix and free your mind. It worked for Neo and that dude could dodge bullets. Side note, that was a joke, guys. Please don't take what I just said literally and try to dodge bullets because you'll most likely be killed. And if you can't find the discipline to do this for at least 24 hours, then that's a problem. Because as I always say, your attachment to people and things will become a crutch in your life. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching and continuing to push start in this movement. I've been reading all of your guys' progress so far and it's been amazing. You guys have shared some wonderful stories. For those of you guys watching who are new to this movement and have no idea what Project Push Start is, feel free to click the link down below in the description and join the group and it'll explain all of that. Good luck on this week's challenge and I'll see you guys next week. I'm your boy Tactics. Peace and I'm out.